Captain. So, um, we're actually getting on with engine stuff and all the rest of it. The engine has to come apart because I want to paint the engine. Um, and you don't paint engines. That's one thing. I don't care what anybody says. You don't do it. The reason why you don't do it, we can use a quick example. Um, <laughs> let's just say, I'm not going to pick up the cover because it's got all these cam caps on. Let's just say this cam cap here is this rocker cover. Right? As soon as you spray over both, I can, I can point, I don't need to do challenge demonstrations. As soon as you paint over both, they are now, as far as the paint is concerned, one thing. Right? If you ever need to take this off, you're going to have to chip the paint and it is not going to come nicely. Right? And you say, oh, I'll just get a razor. Oh, fuck off. Just do it properly, for God's sake. The other thing as well is you get to check the engine. You know what I mean? Now, a lot, loads of people are scared of engines. And I kind of get it. Right? I can, oh, that one's coming out there. I can kind of understand why people are scared of engines. Right? But the fact of the matter is... Is that if you... If you put them back together <laughs> properly, you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, that's all it's down to, really. Is it this blade? Then it's that blade that comes out. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. I see, I'm not bothered about cam chains falling. You can always retrieve them. It's not fucking difficult. People go on like it's the, the world's worst thing. Um, the only thing is, if you do drop a cam chain down in there, you don't turn the engine over, right? Because you'll just come, you'll just create a mess. Um... Oh, these nuts, right, so all these nuts are fucked. Uh, they look horrific. Um, there are holes, so... I don't think I've got anything thin enough to get through there, to be quite honest. Not right at hand. Uh, shall we go and get something? Closing rods. Got a bit of tick light, yeah. There we go. Bit of tick wire. So... Um, there. If you can see that, I'm sticking it in here, and it's coming out through the head there, if you can see that. Yeah, great, wonderful. There's one, there's another one here. They've crewed a lot of them. You see that one come out this side, look. Um, and then there's one, I can't see, there, through there, through the casting, comes out this side. And then this one just does the same thing. The reason why they're there is this is going to get covered in full of water. Right. A lot of engines have them um, on the ER5, it's a little hole that's been drilled on the SV, I think it's a little hole that's been drilled. Um, these castings are a bit nasty to be quite honest, they're not fucking all there. But um, I say nasty, just, yeah. Right, so these head studs are all M12s by the look of it. Uh, 12, lovely. And... Um, I'm doing a video, fuck knows where I put them, I had them really recently, I've got some strips, I don't know how, it, I don't know how well it's going to work, um, oh yeah that was it, so I stuck a magnet to this, pulled out all of these and I checked them all, there's actually another thing I want to show you actually, let's pull that one out, fuck it we're already there, you'll see on here, uh, let's see if I can do you a better shot. So if master of zoom, like that. you'll see on here, you'll see that there's this almost golden colour. Yeah, and that's because these have been plated, by the look of them, right? They've been plated, the plating's come off. That's a mix of the steel and the copper underneath. But you'll see that it's kind of like random, looks like orbital scratches almost. And that's because these shims turn the bucket, sorry, they turn as they vibrate and it's going up and down as well. So if you turn and vibrate and go up and down, yeah, um, you make a pawn vid. But apart from that, if you make these random little swirly, scuffy scratches, that's totally normal, right? That's just what happens. The coatings that have been put on these, some might be like a hard chrome coating, I'm not too sure. Um, it's just to resist a lot of that wear. And the surface area on the aluminium castings is huge, or bigger in comparison. Not much bigger, but it's a big surface area, and it can take away the heat quite well. Uh, these are air-cooled engines after all. Um, but yeah, so that's just showing you this um, orbital 
where jobby and there's nothing wrong with that that's just what normally happens i just thought i'd just show you right fucking dogs come on you fuck yes anyway i've got some half half sentences I've got some strips of steel, stainless steel, all the same, machined all to the same size. And we're going to heat them and do some, I've got loads of them, I'm going to do little experiments. And the reason why I use stainless steel is because stainless steel is a notorious fucker for warping due to heat. So hopefully, I'm not saying the experiment's going to work, I'm going to give it a go. We might have to do longer strips because I've only done little coupons, you can't see shit. Idiot. I've only done little coupons about this big and drilled some holes in them. We might have to do really long ones just to demonstrate this whole talking down. Right, some of these you can tell. If you have one here like this, this is clean out in the world. This one's clean out in the world. You put your socket on, it goes boop, right down to the bottom. You can feel how far it goes. If you get to one of these air corners, I fucking hate them. When you get to one like that and it goes on a bit, you go hang about. It's probably because of all the shit and grime in there. So just make sure you hammer on because if you don't, and this is a rubber faced hammer, right, we're not brain the fuck out of it. If you don't, that's when you start getting into oh no, I've twisted the head off. You know what I mean? And then you've just you world of hurt. Already when you didn't need to be. See that one? Right? Let me give me an example. Let's see if I can. I can feel that go on. This one, that's it, stops. But there's plenty there for it to go down on. Just make sure the seat properly. Because if you don't, you see there's that much shit and grime on that one. And this is well down in this well, you know. You're always going to have this problem. Come on, give it back. Ah, oh, you fucker. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Right. That one's yeah, that one's straight on pretty much. And it didn't hug the socket for dear life. That one goes on pretty well. And then obviously these just go you can see these, that's the other beauty. Oh. And then that one. It's actually. That was a bit loose, actually. Um, it's pretty tidy head, this. These are 12s. Do I have a. Just checking. I've got these drivers. No, the sure the biggest ones are 10. They're just handles with sockets on, basically. Um, but they're actually built that way, not a, not this with a T, like, like a T on a T bar. Um, I'm lazy, and we need to get these videos rocking and rolling. This is the thing with videos, right? You give people the long-winded stuff, and people whinge, but they're not getting that it's too long. You give them short stuff. I want more of this. Oh fucking. <laughs> so, in an answer to that, I've decided to change how I'm doing these videos. I'm a fuck. I'm not changing at all. I'm just going to do the videos I'm doing them. I think there's um, something to be said about showing basically everything you do. You know, people say they want to see this stuff. Um, I think I can show you videos right now. Right this second, I know fucking at least 12 off the top of my head of people, some of them don't videos, of people doing stuff and then they edit and if you look and pay attention, a lot has changed in those couple of seconds. Tools of magic, I'm not, not being funny here, pry bars have magically appeared. Pry bars have magically, oh look that's rotted through, that one's rotted through there. Pry bars have magically appeared 
Um, I remember once, <laughs> one video, and unfortunately it's the one I can't remember and I really want to remember it. I'd love to find it. Oh, fucking, what are you doing? Um, it's once where they were doing a video about, um, someone might actually know it. They were doing a video about um, penetrating fluid and how it gets nuts and they have these big nuts and uh, they're saying look it gets all these nuts off and then there's a jump cut and when it jump cuts to them getting these like, I think they're on a flange on a giant pipe, it looks like it's some piece of gas works and um, there's a fucking welder with a welded nut and a bar on it you can see in the background. And it's just like, wow, you lying fucks. It's like they had to get the nuts off. And what they do is they show you the flange with all the bolts and all the nuts off. And it's like, oh, yeah, this stuff works. This Oh, this method works a treat. But secretly, you can see in the background. <laughs> there's, left, there's left, you can see the welder leads. You can't see the welder. You can see the leads. But they've left the, in the bench in the back behind a guy talking. You can see... I think it's more of a, a bit more of a commercial kind of channel that are trying to make loads of money out of shite. Yeah, a bit like, like do it, we'll do it with Dan or someone, you know, a bit like Jake the Garden Todger. A video like that. And a uh, young guy, you know, and you can see that there's this fucking welder with it. You can see just the, the nut with really bad, blobby, shitty welds as well. And you can see the, the MIG welder lead. Um, the only thing I do know is that lead looks like a Lincoln Electric lead. Um, that's all I can remember. But it was I thought it was fucking hilarious. And it was when I first started watching YouTube. Um, back in the day when I st first started watching people like Keith Fenner and stuff. Which I still do watch. Um, we've got these two little weird nut study things. We've got the weird little nut study things on this side. We might have to heat that one up because that was the one that was a knob. Um, I don't think we'll have to heat these up because these are on the cold side. Where this is on the hot mm, weather side. But uh, yeah, there's videos where there's jump cuts, like Dell with the whole Allen key, and you can see the guffs in the fucking thing that are fresh. Another dead, another Dell experience one, which is one I fucking love, is um, as it. This is a Dell one. As he's taking the clutch basket off, um, one of the turret, one of the standoffs, one of the turrets on the springs comes out and he's like oh shit and then <laughs> you should see his face and he kind of hides it and then later on he's like oh yeah yeah so these come out sometimes he didn't fuck honestly you should see his face it looks like he's just been slapped uh, they even edit out them going oh shit kind of thing it was fucking amazing i'll have to show i'll have to show these examples in one big video of um people doing stuff and then immediately there's a jump cut and the problem is solved. You know what I mean? And uh, with the video I've just put up, like I say put up, I've just put it up now. It's just uploading now. Um, the video of, um, what's it called now? With heating up, or heating up stuff and actually do the time lapse. There's no breaking video from heat, can't get it undone, heating it up and then getting it done. Getting it undone and it not breaking off. But there's, you know, in the I think it's the following video. One of them breaks off this little shitty one on the front because I wasn't paying attention. Then heated up the other one, it came out. Uh, what we're doing? Lefty Lucy dicker. That's what we're doing. Um. Ah! Come on. There we go. Good. Good. It's weird. You get a feel for when things are about to break. Um. It's, it's, it, the only way I can describe it is, it's feeling the yield, <laughs> or feeling the resistance. It's almost like you're trying to undo it, but you can feel it tightening up. Such a weird feeling. Uh, it's not a weird feeling. It's not like fucking telling your dad that, I'm sorry dad, but I like boys. It's not like that kind of feeling. Um, it's more like... Uh, it's hard to describe. 
I'll leave them. Fuck it. Right, so on the front here, and I'll try and move you down. Move you down. Move you down. Look at that. There we go. So there. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this fucking thing. It's sometimes it's a bit of a dick. Getting used to it and playing with it is one thing. But once, just sometimes, it works so beautifully. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, that stud came out. This has still got a nut on it. That's the one that sheared. So what it is, is it's a stud. There's a nut here. There's a plate and then another nut. And the nut was so fused and welded to the thread that when we twisted the nut, when, when we, I, Dick, I don't blame everybody else. When I, when I undid it, it basically just fucking twi torsioned that off. It twisted the shit out of it. So, say hello to my little thingy. Cracking. Crack, 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 crack. Stopped as soon as I stopped. <laughs> doing the videos and I'm going to explain what's going on here with this whole heat malarkey. In threads there are gaps and um, I've literally, like I said, when I do the video, because I can't remember the fuck I put them, I'll dig them out for the video. You can, I've literally put some bolts, threaded a bit of, a big thick bit of bar, threaded them, tap, you know, drilled them, tapped them, put the bolts in and you can see there's gaps like between my fingers here, like here, there's gaps. Now the water will always make its way in there, right? It's fucking it's great stuff, bastards. It'll always make its way in it and rust. And what it does is the rust, um, oh, there's a word for it. It's basically rust cracking. And there's a picture I found, and I'll put the picture up now, and I won't forget to put the picture up now. And this is basically a bit of cement that was, has got a V in it, not a V in it, just a gap in it, a, a, a bridge. And they put steel in there and let the steel rust, and it's enough forced to crack when all the molecules and stuff start realigning because of the you know the oxidization reaction of the rust and stuff um it's it's like it's like ice right they reform right reform into a different lattice and it can push outwards right in a sense what happens here is that the rust it doesn't like to bond together it becomes all flaky and there's a word for it i forgot what the fucking word is uh it's not, it's not, is it friable? Frayable, frayable, friable. I don't know how you pronounce it. It's a weird word. It could be just frayable, but I don't think it's fray because it's going to whine it. Um, it's not something I'm familiar with. But um, basically, you can just think that the layers of rust don't want to stick to each other, so they kind of get away from each other. So what happens is, is the rust fills these gaps, right? Fills these gaps, but not with a solid, right? Because obviously there isn't enough material. It kind of expands, like you think of it like a sponge or a foam. Or think of it like a Jacob's cracker, or you know, the flaky crackers. So they fill in here and they're, they're trying to expand and they exert a force. Now, what happens is when you heat the nut and bolt fitted, they expand into these regions in a sense. They crush the rust. When they shrink back to normal, the, 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 the rust that's caught almost acting like a spring, it's applying a force to everything, a preload, has now been crushed. But it's not like a spring, it's like a cracker. You get a cracker, you flatten it, 
you take your fingers away again in the same you know same distance apart and the crack has been fucking caved in right it's fucked it's it's, it's plastically deformed it's fucked and that's why it comes out right that's what happens so all these fluids right all these penetrating fluids what they're trying to do is they're trying to go in there and lubricate it but the fact of the matter is is that it's like a flaky you know it's like a cracker if i get a cracker and i stick loads of fucking you know stick a cracker in water it just gets soggy right it just gets soggy it doesn't change what we, what we want to do is crush that cracker and then open the gap up and the the cracker's fucked so what's happening here is that the steel is expanding right? it's expanding it's crushing the rust then it shrinks back again the rust is fucked right it's you know the, the 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 volume it was trying to force against has now been it's all been fucking crushed and smashed up so that's why you heat it up to quite the hotter you can heat it without damaging things the hotter you can heat it, the more thermal expansion you're going to get the thing is you have to let it cool all the way back for two reasons number one is you're about to do a you're about to apply a lot of torque to this fastener right and undo it and when you do that um, you want the steel to be strong, otherwise it's just going to twist off. So you want the steel to be cold, as strong as it can be. So you want the steel to be cold. Number two is is that you have to let the steel relax back into its original... There's gaps between these threads. You know what I mean? And we're not just talking the crowns and roots of the threads. I'm actually literally talking between the actual threads and themselves. Because nothing's cut perfect, regardless. Hopefully. You see, because this head... Because these heads are aluminium, like and the cylinders and all this, because they're so big, that's literally cool. That's cool as fuck. That took no time at all. So let's see if this will come off, and it won't do doing that because that's tightening. <laughs> Even if the stud comes out, I don't care. Which it looks like it is. Can't tell. It feels like the nuts come now. Don't yeah, the nuts come now. Right, yeah, there we go. So we'll be able to see that when I get it out. Uh, it's twisted off and fucked. Um, but there's loads of you can see this thing's fucking gnarly. There's loads of rust on the inside. There's some shiny bits, but yeah. So we have. Um, you are going to see a video soon. I can't remember which. I'm, I don't know what order I'm going to publish these. You are going to see a video soon, if it, I haven't already published it, of how not to take off a cylinder head. <laughs> Fuck me, that was beautiful. Beautifully bad. So, going round the split line. Um, put you back into the original position. There we go. And I'm going to make some wheels for this so it's easier big fucking not these stupid really small knurled fucking horrible hard to grab make some nice big wheels that i can turn with my fucking mitts so the two nuts on this side them two are gone there's nothing else across the parting line there is no fuck me Stop doing that, just sit on that fucking bar and behave yourself. There's nothing across here. There's nothing across here. Two, three, six on this side, six on this side, nothing on the inside. Tunnel. Nothing. So. Come on. I definitely need something with a bit more mass. Um. Are we lifting? Oh, God's sake. I can't see if I'm lifting. Something's happening. It's dirty. It's dirty. And I don't want to wrench on it that much because the way I've got this. There we go. The way I've got this engine propped up, it's weird. It's got such a weird front section. It doesn't want to sit at all. I was lucky. 
I was looking for it to sit like this at all. I like something to wedge under there, but fuck it. Um, bigger hammer. blow rubber hammer which I was using to do paving slabs <laughs> it's just how it goes isn't it I do want to chip off any cement that's on the end god fuck me when I did them paving slabs well um, the first batch I've got more to do. The fucking weather was horrific. There's not much to attack here. That felt like something split. There's not much to bray against. Fucking hell. What is going on? I'd love to turn it, but I can't. Not with the way it's sat on here. Um, let me just see. It's lifting. I think it's just heavy. This end seems to stick a bit. I'm trying to just get, I'm not really prying, I'm kind of just lifting and just seeing if it'll move and it moves. Um, and it's this front bit here where it's stuck with this horrible, yeah it's stuck on this fucking, let me get my actual hammer, that um, stud that snapped um, the stud that snapped off that nut seems to be frozen so what I'm doing is I'm hitting the stud it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere that's not good I can see the hole is like all white it's that Loctite from fucking Harley Davidson again. Um, it's, not, it's not lifting it at all. I'll just put that pry bar in there. Give it the slightest of pulls. Nothing. That really doesn't want to go, does it? the problem you clean one thing you, you sort you arrange you do all this shite you move all this stuff and then you lose what you had there we go that's better so what I'm after line that line between the two there that's what I want to open up that line there so if I get my head down here but it's not opening <laughs> for fuck's sake it's always one, isn't there? Um, so, like I said, now I've moved all that creamy sheave shit out of the way. 
No, it's lifting everywhere else. Oh, fucking come on. No, it's lifting everywhere else but there. The thing is, you might say, oh, I'll just cut the stud off, but it's inside the hole where it's being the dick. Not anywhere else. It's literally in the hole. You'll see, when we get it up open, you'll see the crusty hole. Do this oh you heat up now belt it no no god no no everything's weak so what we do is we're gonna leave that we're gonna leave that to cool it should suck out most of the heat like I said I'm just hoping it expands and contracts and just cracks it off and then hopefully we'll be able to get it off all right I'll go and have a coffee and we're back in a moment back in a moment right then oh bloody hell I zoomed in that way. Unless we just just been through. Let's put that light on. There we go. Right. So it's cool down now. I can't even feel anything actually. It's the exact same fucking temperature. It feels like I did nothing. Probably did do nothing. <laughs> we'll find out. Um, doing something isn't it right so I wish I could see what you guys could see right now because it's I can't see if that's opening up <laughs> I'll go back and watch the footage <laughs> oh god Is it just <clears throat> not lifting up? Oh, for fuck's sake. Come on. I just can't tell. I'm trying to lift it up so the engine's weight is pulling it down. I can't see though, this is a fucking problem. I can't see if that's doing anything. I'll tell you what, I'll use the screen on the camera. Yeah, you div. But the thing is, I want to move it out, oh, that's the problem. Am I doing anything? No, not like it's fucking moving at all, does it? Twat. Not a bad idea, though. <laughs> right, like I say, the stud. The stud. I'll tell you what, let me get some of these tools out of my face. Now, the stud, if you just cut the head off, it's probably. It, well, no, it has. It's mushroom slightly. But, it, by the look of it, it's only the actual bit that I was hitting, as in the end. Not that the entire stud of mushrooms. Not only that is, if you look at the other studs that got extracted, um, 
the stud body itself is a bigger diameter, which means that um, I'd have to mushroom the fuck out of it shitloads to get it to f you'd be wide in the space. It's not. The problem is right now is it's not even separated. We're not even getting a crack of light, which is what I don't like. That's the problem. We're not getting any response from it saying if you just give me a bit more <laughs> kind of thing so we want to be we want to be as, we want to be delicate with it i don't want to just fucking heave how it because that is how you go from taking the head off costs nothing to taking the head off costs hundreds of pounds <laughs> That's how you go from that state to that state. And I've seen loads of examples. The YouTubes, it's full of them. Where they make things worse. So, how am I going to do this? I could strong arm it, maybe. So what I'm thinking is if you can put something across the top of it and eh, um, strap something to the top of it. I don't want to do that to the, the surface. I don't want to put the rocker cover on. But the rocker cover's got nothing that I can really grab a hold of. It's just been held in place, that's all. Um, like I say, I know people are thinking, I know what people are thinking, I like just saw the head off, but the, it's... Where is the other one? Um, it's in a little collection here of shit that came off. Um, it's the one with the snap nut. They're still attached to it. There's the nut. Oh, I've, 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 did I bin it? Oh yeah, I've bin, I think I've binned it because it was I think I've been because it was like, oh, that's. I had to get new ones of them. And I put it on my list. Um, did I bin it? I think I did. That's a shame. So, what I'm, what I'm talking about is. Uh, we've got a makeshift whiteboard. It's like this. There's a thread. And then it's got a. The body to it like that so there's a th the whole thing's a thread relief and then the diameter is wider it's this diameter Ooh, what a horrible noise it's that diameter if you can see can you see that I can't tell there's, there's, there's writing all over the fucking screen <laughs> telling me levels and battery and yeah so it's like that. Thread, this is over exaggerated a bit. Then the outer shaft, like that. Like that. And it's this shaft here. If you, I can't tell if you could tell, it's that shaft there. I can clearly see that on the camera. It's that, it's that shaft there that's stuck. And the problem is, is we want to try and lift it all as one, but we're struggling to do that. And I'm just checking to see if there's any sneaky bolts, but no, there is not. There's not any sneaky fasteners holding it on. The original, like I say, the original stuff that's not stuck, I fucking took it out. Um, hmm, I know people can say penetrating fluid didn't fucking do anything if the heat did nothing. WD4 is going to do fuck all. Um, I'm just going to have to strong arm it. Fuck it. So, the problem with strong arm it is I'm going to trap the microphone. Well, strong arm it and see what happens. It's always, always try and just see what happens. And then break it. So, I'll prop it up like this, like that, 
This is why I've got to drag it by the cylinder head and the fucking head falls off. Ha! <laughs> um, oh, for fuck's sake. Where's that tapping stick on? Jesus Christ, I fucked this up straight away. Out the big raunchy uh, dead blow. See, this is the problem. Don't put fucking tools away, you bell end, you need them. Right, so, we're ready to do some belting. Up the vertical, I can see now. not coming at all. Like, at all. Fuck. Come on now. Come on now. Let's work together. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if we can get the cylinders. <laughs> That's an idea. Because these, these are gusset rods. They go all the way through. There's that one there. It might be worth trying to do that, actually. Just take the whole cylinder and the head off at once. Just because... This is being a knob. No, you see, that's not wanting to at all. If I've got the cylinders off and just the head, then I've got a better fighting chance. Um, because you're not carrying around this big lump of a fucking engine. Well, I could try that. Because what is there? There's... That's it, innit? It's just that one at the front. What's that, 14? We can get the right now. Oh, yeah. In sweet harmony. Uh, why did you choose your career? Because I can't sing. 14, 6 point, we're not fucking going anywhere near that fucking 12 point bullshit. We might have to get the pry bar on this one. Yeah, we might have to because I can't get fucking in. Um. We come together right now. Oh yeah, in sweet harmony. Let's come together. That is a 12, isn't it? No, what? It's a it's fucking 4... It's not a, tw it's not a 14. It's a 12. That's a 12. But that's a, that's a 12... 12 point rubbish. We don't want that. There we go. The back or one. Saves the day. Right, come on. Do you know what, I'll do all this, I want to put it down the final time. What am I doing, you div? That side. Come on. Oh, that was alright. I thought that was going to be a, a knob. Oh, that's a stud as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. Mmm, we love them studs. Well, that wasn't seized at all. And that is it, surely. That is it. That is it. That's us done. Right. <laughs> just lift, just lift the head off and the cylinders, Matt. Are these even moving? Oh yes. You see, I can move the cylinders. Yeah. Oh. Well, you're all coming as one. <laughs> he says 
he says. Right, there's a nice little... Yep, yeah, that's broken. So, on the cylinders, I'll show you while I'm here. Let's just zoom. Oh, you can't see. Can you see one? So on the cylinders, there's the fins, and then there's these bulbous sections. And the bulbous sections is what I'm pressing against. So all I'm doing is just putting this pry bar in there and just lifting. Now, if there's any resistance, you fucking, you've done it. But there is no resistance. The cylinders are coming off. Not, he's not fucking easily though. <laughs> there's definitely a gap though, there's a gap everywhere. Right, let's, gentle, gentle. So if I, now give it a wiggle and stick this all Fighting everything here. <laughs> everything wants to come. You can't see. Why'd you do your line of work, Matt? Because I'm a shit cameraman. <sighs> How much gap can I pull there? Fuck all. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, I really don't want to crack it. You see, this is the thing, right? This is the thing. You could just roll it over, right? So it's on its back. Get it that. Fuck it, actually let's try it, fuck it, why not? You could get this on its back. Like this. Get it on its back. Make sure it doesn't fall over. Get your, get your whacking stick. And just... Tap that to your heart's content. It's like washers. It's just the washers for the main head studs. Actually, the cylinders are breaking off here. At this rate. But literally, the cylinders are coming off. Motherfucker. Come on. That part in line, it just it hasn't budged at all. What a fucking farce. The only good thing I've got here is I can see a lot more. The head's coming. The whole head is the whole head is coming apart from this one corner. It's that one fucking stud. Let's cut it off. Just in case, just in case it's bent and it's stopping me. Let's just go and get a hacksaw and gently wiggle that off. It's not going to fall, is it? Fucking, that's the worst thing. You walk off a rear and it falls off the bench. Fuck me. Um, what's that? That's 24. Thanks. <sighs> right. I'm probably gonna do this, like I say, it's just gonna fucking fall off. Pick a thread. Come on. 
It's difficult to do because I'm, I'm, I'm high up. I'm on my tiptoes. And I'm trying not to fuck it. A bit there. Oh, well. Could also get a pin punch and try and. Does that hold itself there? Oh, it does. Really? That, that's pretty stable. I'll leave that there. Fuck it. I love risk. <laughs> it literally just sits there. So, I want a punch. Between those two sizes, please. We want either of them. Um, and file, please. There you go. It literally just holds itself there. That's amazing. I don't care if it touches the aluminium, to be quite honest. As you can see, I'm not going alpha leather. Yes, all of the shit are getting in there. No one cares because she's going to get washed out. Or we don't care, shall I say. Right. I'm just trying to get a... F I'm fucking so dodgy about leaving that like that. <laughs> I thought I'd dare myself, but it scared the shit out of me. Um... So the stud is in the head. So, with any luck, we should. Oh, fuck me. I'm trying to. Just worries me, does that? I'm trying to ginger it. I want one strike, I don't want a lot of taps. I want to try and get sh as straight onto it as possible. Wow. No. No. I just wanted it to pop. Just the case has got. Boop. My God, Jesus hates me. Fucking hell, dude. I'll give you a position. That's the hacksaw swinging off the hook. Um, I give you a position. I give you a prime place in this channel all these years. And now you do shit on me. With this fucking rubbish, I don't got part now. Fuck me. Just. So when I do that, everything moves. I can feel it. You can feel it. Ah, yes. Yes. I want to do that. We're getting a, a. I'll literally show you. We're getting there. So. Right there, we're gonna make up my lip. I need to see so you can see what I see. So I'm gonna give it a bit of that. Can you see what I'm seeing? I can see a gap. But when I go here, that noise you can hear that crack, crack, crack that's actually. The multi-layered gasket in there. Fuck me, this has been a wanker. Oh, or crunchy bits on the cardboard. We're close though. We're, 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 
the, the important thing is to not get disheartened. <laughs> and to, uh, it's just little increments. Right. I don't want to mushroom that either. So that's why it's just a couple of taps. And it'll just it'll just go. This is the thing, it'll just go. Thing is, the other thing. Is this bit is it, it can't just take forever blowings, you know what I mean? You'll break it if you you know if you wail on it too much. Oh, I've only got one more real trick. I don't want to get into drilling anything out yet. One more trick would be to give it a hot blast. Let's open that other bit up. Let's <laughs> open that other bit up nicely. Okay, man. Fuck me. Woo! Just go, ah! You always want to do that. Do you know what might be a thing actually? I forgot, I'm an idiot for forgetting. If we're going to try and pull the cylinders off with the head, I should take off the, um, or take out the spark plugs. I should do that. I kept them in because I wanted to not, not, I repeat, not let any shit fall into the head. Um, but we're taking them all out now anyway, so that's that plan gone the way the fair is. Um, so yeah, that's, the reason why is that the valves are all closed. And um, I don't know, I didn't think about this before. Basically, you, you're fighting against the suction. Actually, it's right. I won't go any further if I'm rushing. Chill out, chill out, chill out. This is number three. Just in case there's a problem. That first one was number four. Yes, it's true. Oh, 
you'll also see that I have some sockets. I've got them both. Well, the ones I usually have. Some white tape on these long reach sockets, and that's because these long reach sockets are spark plug sockets. So to not get them confused <laughs> with all the other sockets that are in there. And you might say, there are spark plug sockets. Yes, there are. Which I could do an entire video on. Why not, eh? Well, I might actually do some a video on tools that are very specific, like my piston hammer, which most people might not even know exists. Right, that's all the spark plugs gone. Is half an engine, pretty much. You can do it bit by bit. Off these dowels. Come on. Now I must, I must, I have to say, this is not the first time I've ever taken an engine apart where I've had to do cylinders. This is not the first time I've ever had to do this. Whew. See one, two, three spigots. That dowel's out, that's lucky. There's the other one out. Oh god, that studs. That stud looked like it's stuck. Oh, fuck me. Come on. Come on. Catch all these copper washers if I can. I'll probably get most of them. Weirdly enough, magnets don't work on them. I don't know why. Someone, someone's paused the video to tell me about para and ferromagnetism. And then they'll probably tell me about magnetic dipoles and monopoles. Come on, I want this base gasket to go with it. Or stay. Don't do both. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to pull all that back when I was coming out. Oh, that back one's rusty. It looks like a Harley Davidson one. Um, I'm trying to pull up as well as it. So that, that's coming out, which is good. The dowels come. This dowel's free and single. Good times, good times. One of them's dragging, I can feel it. You can feel it. The other thing I want to make sure as well um, is that we've got the longitudinal way here, so we've got to make sure it comes off. But you've also got to make sure from the side that it's not doing this because I'm hitting from one side. So I'm always stopping, putting my head down here, <laughs> and just checking. And what I'm doing is I'm getting my arm around the back so imagine this is the back of the cylinder as you can't see and i'm lifting as i tap so i'm trying to lift this side and tap this side oh come on as soon as the spigots let go we'll be all right there's lots of shit falling in 
and the blade i'm just making sure this the guide blade isn't snagging on anything which it's not which is all good and now i can get my i can literally get my fingers in well let's not talk about that there we go come on right now this you might see that this dowel is like it's kind of fallen over make sure if you can when you remember like i'll just have now make sure you try and put that back in the reason why is if these cases fall i don't want them trapping that because they'll mar the cases